Well everyone, the time has finally come for me to upgrade the graphics card in my Mac Pro. I can't wait to install this GeForce GT640 by Galaxy. This is an awesome little card, perfect for my Mac Pro. But before I carry on, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Todd because this card was indeed a donation all the way from the United States of America. Huge thanks to Todd. He's made this upgrade video possible. Um, I wouldn't have been able to afford this card for a very long time because of uh, situations with having to pay for various things and whatnot. So um, with this donation, he has allowed many things to happen. Um, first off, an upgrade to my Mac Pro, of course, because um, it's a much better graphics card than the X1900 XT, but he's also allowed me to use Mountain Lion, which in return allows me to use my SSD, and that allows me to put the whole system up in the studio, which is where it belongs, because um, the fan is now going to be quiet enough to use for recording. So I'm really, really looking forward to popping this card in. It's absolutely awesome. Cannot wait. Really hope that it fires up because I tried researching uh, the specifically the GeForce GT640, but I couldn't find information on it in regards to Mac Pro installation. But I believe all of the 600 series cards from NVIDIA work in the Mac Pro. Uh, I don't think you get the grey boot screen, but of course that doesn't matter. Now, something awesome about this card, it doesn't require external power, which is really really sweet so you literally just stick it in and off you go the connectivity on it we have VGA DVI and HDMI so I'm running a dual display setup down here um, so I'm gonna be running DVI and VGA I've just ordered a DVI to HDMI adapter so um, I'll be able to run both my monitors off DVI but in a few months time when my Mac Pro goes up to the studio I'll of course just be using DVI because I've got a single monitor up there and then when I do my Hackintosh build that'll be uh, down in my room covering my dual display setup. So again can't wait to put this in. Huge thank you to Todd. Now the first thing I'm going to do is some boring stuff off camera. I'm still on Lion on my desktop here guys but over here, sorry for no screen flow action but you guys can see and you probably remember the video, I've already installed a, where is it, there you go, Macintosh SSD. I've already installed Mountain Lion on my Mac Pro, it's just a case of popping in the card. But what I need to do is boot into Mountain Lion with my old graphics card anyway, to update it and install the drivers for this card, just to make sure it all fires up and works. So I'm going to do all that boring stuff off camera. And then I'm going to unplug the Mac Pro and we're going to have some awesome fun popping in this new card. And finally ditching the X1900 XT, which if this card all works perfectly, the X1900 XT will be on eBay very, very soon to fund some more parts for my Hackintosh. So guys, I thought I'd show you this anyway, just so you can see what happens when I boot using a non-compatible graphics card. So we're going to go Macintosh SSD. It should boot up fairly speedy because it's an SSD, it's Mountain Lion, it's a fresh install. Uh, but I haven't booted into it for a very long time. Actually, there you go. That was uh, pretty damn quick. Can't wait to use an SSD. Anyway, um, so dual displays aren't supported. Let me just uh, quit that. Dual displays aren't supported. And one thing that you'll notice is it's very pixelated. Hopefully that's coming out on the camera. But this graphics card isn't really supported. I've got all sorts of problems, um, graphics tearing as you can see. So the X1900 and Mountain Lion really don't get along. Um, Eve, yeah, see, check this out. You've got ATI Radio on X1900. It says 6 megabyte graphics. Um, this is a 512 megabyte graphics card, so of course it's not really working and you can also tell it's not working because it's not listing the model of my display it normally says Dell 2009W right there with no hiccups at all um, but you know I can do what I can do but the first important thing is to go to about this Mac you guys can see we're on version 10.8 so we need to do a software update straight away uh, to get this up to the latest version of Mountain Lion to ensure full graphics compatibility and then I have saved the latest link from the NVIDIA website here in a text edit document ready to download the drivers um, so it's checking for updates as we speak 
and I'm actually not sure how this new update system works because I'm a little bit of a noob and I'm used to software update just popping up but I guess it's all app store based now but anyway um, this will be fairly exciting so annoyingly the update is about one gigabyte um, which isn't amazing really because that'll take ages of my internet but on the bright side of downloading the Nvidia drivers and I can uh, begin importing the footage from this video and doing stuff like that because I've got work shortly so I hope to get this done before work that would be the icing on the cake. So everyone I've updated to Mountain Lion finally the download crashed the app store crashed and the whole system sort of like the finder restarted and stuff because um, it's quite unstable. I think it's unstable due to the graphics card but um, what's really cool is because I've updated to 8.3 I don't need to in install the Nvidia drivers it says it already has compatible drivers for uh, GeForce cards which is fantastic so I'm pretty much done now um, it says there are updates still available but they're just for you know crappy little apps or whatever um, What's really cool is, I think I'm done, I can just take out my card and throw in the new card, but unfortunately, I've got to go to work right now. Um, I'm not in work for very long, I'm just uh, popping up basically. So hopefully I'll be back in about two hours to pop in this graphics card. I'd really, really like that, um, because I'm just dying to get this system up and running in Mountain Lion and being all fresh and awesome. So um, I'll catch you guys in about a second, but for me it's going to be about two hours. So uh, yeah, hopefully this will work. Well everyone, I am back from work. Um, it's dodgy lighting at this time of day. The sun is sort of like half coming through the window. So um, hopefully the footage doesn't look too bad. But I am dying to get this graphics card installed. So what I'm going to do is pull off everything from the top of my Mac Pro. And except for the hard drives, I'm just going to move them to one side. And then I'm going to, yeah, basically switch it off, unplug it all, or unplug it all, switch it off, whatever, and then pop in the card. I really, really can't wait. Okay, so just shutting down the system now, so that I can begin unplugging it all. I'm just powering back on for a second guys, just um, because I've remembered that, because I may not get the grey Apple logo screen, I'm not even sure, I haven't done enough research on this before doing it. Um, so what I'm going to do on the safe side, uh, what I'm going to do just to be on the safe side, sorry, is set the SSD to be the primary boot device, um, just so it doesn't go on to Lion, because Lion is not compatible with this graphics card. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to have access to the boot menu when first installing this graphics card. So that's just a little uh, safety procedure that I'm going to do to make sure that I don't have to keep yanking out graphics cards and putting them back in and whatnot. Well, everyone, it hasn't been too long since I opened this last, because I did that uh, dreaded cleaning my X1900 uh, video, but I'm looking forward to getting in here again. Um, to those of you who are wondering, the reason why I can open my case without undoing the latch is because I have a Power Mac G5 door that doesn't quite properly fit, so the latch, in my case, is just responsible for locking the drives into place. Uh, Drive-wise then, just while we're here to run through it, we have got the SSD in here, that's 256 gigabytes, that's only got Mountain Lion on it at the moment. We have the one terabyte drive which hosts my Lion install, all of my documents and my iTunes library. We have my two terabyte scratch disk that happens to be jam-packed, I'm currently editing on my MacBook Pro. And then we have a 640 gigabyte uh, miscellaneous video storage drive which is also uh, nearly full. So that's quite a lot of drives. The changes will be obviously my OS is going to be on here, all of my documents are going to be on here and any random things that, you know, like my pictures, folder and that because I don't have that many pictures. The one terabyte drive, because my iTunes library is getting quite big, is going to be dedicated to iTunes but because there'll be some free space all I'll do is move some miscellaneous video stuff over onto that. Um, I'm going to back up this to a 2 terabyte green drive that I have in my Power Mac G4 and then that will free this up so I can edit on this machine again and then this will be used for the same. So, before I ramble on any longer, let's proceed to take out the X1900 XT. 
because we really don't want to have anything to do with this card anymore, really. I will be selling this on eBay, and I'm not going to lie in the description. I'm going to say in the description, you know what, this is an old card. Make sure you do your research before you bid. Um, it's notoriously, you know, unreliable. And it, I haven't had any problems with mine yet, but, you know, I've been choking it for the last God knows how long. So, uh, you know, I don't know how long it's going to last. I'm only going to start the bidding at about a tenner. Um, but hopefully this will fund at least one or two of the parts for my uh, Hackintosh build. But here it is. Very tricky to get out, actually. I found it very tricky to get out um, when cleaning it, but I did manage it. It's just about wangling it out of there because it's a ridiculously long card. Unnecessarily long because the PCB only goes up to here. I can also remove this power cable from the motherboard actually because I don't need this anymore. I need to sell the power cable with the card. So that's out because my new card doesn't need power. Come on. Here you go. There's the X1900XT, fully removed. Not a bad card for its time, but uh, certainly not very good by today's standards, sort of, you know, over half a decade later. Right then, popping in the new card. First thing to note is it's a lot smaller. Looking good, looking really nice. Much prefer this, like I, like I keep saying, this Mac Pro is going to be for audio stuff. So I really don't need a lot of graphics horsepower. Even this card will be overkill for it. But that's it, that's in. Doesn't get easier than that. No power needed. So that's fantastic. All I need to do is hold up the card a little bit when I go to screw on the PCI bracket. The slot covers on the Mac Pro are a little bit of a pain, but we're getting there. So the card is finally in after much persuasion with that PCI bracket thing. Um, time to plug it all in. So we're back in, both displays are connected, one with VGA like I explained. Let's fire it up. Wow. That is so much quieter. There's the bong. Just waiting for something to pop up on screen now. Even though I haven't changed the input on this monitor. Uh, VGA. Would you look at that, guys? Would you look at that? Perfect. Now let me zoom in a little bit to this display over here so that you guys can hopefully see. As I open up about this Mac, let's see how it detects our graphics card. Display, hey, that is sorted. As you guys can see, they both come up uh, GT640, one gig of VRAM, and you can tell the driver's working properly because it detects my displays. That's absolutely fantastic, guys. Couldn't be happier with that. Really, really, really pleased with that. So, guys, huge thank you to Todd. Um, this is all because of him. My Mac is now so quiet. I can barely hear it. It's fantastic. So, Todd, thank you so much once again. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this upgraded video. Really successful. I know I said I was going, guys, but I'd just like to do this final little note. Um... Due to the installation of my GT640 that was so kindly donated by Todd, my entire Mac Pro experience has completely changed. Um, everything is a lot smoother, a lot snappier, and it's one hell of a lot quieter. Um, I'm now completely up to date with Mountain Lion, and something awesome is using Mountain Lion has allowed me to reinstall the USB 3.0 drivers, which failed working in Lion. So I've now got incredibly fast transfer speeds from my USB 3.0 external 3TB hard drive, which I'm really pleased I can start using to its full potential again. 
Uh, this little beast here, this little anti-beast, um, had, had kind of put me in a bad mood about my Mac Pro. I was annoyed with the system because it was loud. Um, I couldn't install Mountain Lion and it was just holding me back. But now it's such a smooth system and I'm really, really, really happy with it. So I'm enjoying Mountain Lion. Expect some, uh, you know, future videos. I'm still waiting for my DVI to... Uh, my HDMI to DVI cable. I'm running VGA on this monitor at the moment, but it's not too bad at all. So I'm going to just start editing. Uh, I have now completely switched over to Final Cut Pro 10. For those of you who are wondering, uh, basically I filled up my two terabyte scratch disk. It's completely full, and that is all Final Cut Express 4 documents uh, and Final Cut Pro 7 documents. So that hard drive will be copied, completely cloned over to my Western Digital Caviar Green 2TB drive, which is currently in my G4. Uh, and then, I will just stick that in the cupboard. And I will have an empty 2TB black drive ready to begin editing properly in Final Cut Pro 10 yet again on this machine. Because, uh, at the moment, I've got these two clips that I need to just do a quick bit of an editing job for someone for. I'm actually going to edit off of the SSD for a quick moment. Um, and um, other than that, I've been doing my YouTube stuff on my MacBook Pro for a good couple of months now. But anyway, I'm rambling on now, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, ooh, and another quick side note. I am going to pull out my Firewire 800, 750 gig drive. Um, so I'm going to have a triple external drive sandwich on top of my Mac Pro. I'm going to use that uh, over the network as time machine for my MacBook Pro because my MacBook Pro is slowing down a little. So I'm kind of suspicious about the... Um, the health of my hard drive, seeing as I've been moving that around for about two years now. But anyway, um, like I keep saying, hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.